Hello everyone, Linda here. It's time for Rolodex card number 70. And I was working on my mail art yesterday. So what I did is I made a, a envelope with uh, craft paper. And then I used my little We Are Memory Keepers thing to make the envelope. I had a little trouble making it. Uh, I didn't realize that like the second, first you score, then the second time when you turn it, you put the, you line the score line up there. But still some of them were turning out wonky, so I'm not sure what I was doing wrong, but I finally got enough. And then what I did is I took the Tim Holtz stencil, and that's a clock stencil, and I mixed up some of this um, Viva Viva Decor modeling cream, and this is supposed to be a pearl white, but I didn't, you know, the theme for the mail art is uh, grunge, and so I wanted it grungy, so I mixed some uh, Distress Vintage Photo ink with it, and it's really cool, it kind of, you know, it really shines, I like that. And then I wanted, you know how I've been working on trying to get splats, then I realized I had a really cool splat uh, <laughs> stamp from Raisin Boot. This is a painted piece. This is one of their older sets. I really like this and that was really fun to use. So I put that all over and then I used this and put that inside the splab. Then I cut out some uh, Tim Holtz little cars and put on there and then I put some burlap on it. Now I just need to fold it up fold them up and get them in an envelope. So that's the way my mail art's going to look. So when I was doing my mail art, you know, like uh, when I clean off the stencil, this, so this is the negative. I took the stencil and laid it down and rubbed it, but yet this is still some of that modeling paste that went in there, so that was really fun. And then I took Distress Ink and rubbed on it. And then at the end, I rubbed on the black and when I rubbed on the black, the clock just really popped. And I think I took a um, wet baby wipe and went over it. So I thought, you know, to remember my mail art, because I didn't make one for me, that I would recreate that on card number 70. So I'm just going to put this down. And the glue I used on this was this. This is by Aline. Uh, it's a matte finish collage paste and I just put it on like this kind of thick and then um, laid the burlap right in it so I'm going to put that in here like this and then I'm going to put the car here and mosh posh that on there these clocks this way really reminds me of the wizard of Oz, or Wicked, Wicked. I went to see the play Wicked several times. I love that play. Okay, so get that on there. Now I just need to put a quote on there. So the sentiment I'm going to use is another one of these um, delusions ones, and I'm going to stamp it on vellum because I don't want to cover up the clock, so I want that to still show. And um, I got it off the plastic. I, you, gave me a lot of good tips on how to get it off. It's Miss Sophie. There's no place for her to walk. I know it's a mess, Sophie. Okay, so I have that. I'm just going to cut it out. Okay. And so the sentiment says, what appears to be the end is usually the start of a new beginning, which is so true. <laughs> I've had several of those. I just hope that dries nice and clear. All right, so now we need a border. Oh, and I, you know, I got all these tips yesterday too. My little sprayer thing, someone said, take the screw out, take this out. Look, it fits. I wonder if I should try it. I'm so excited about this. Uh, someone said hold it way back. Very cool. Okay. I'm liking this now. This is fun. So now all my pens work because I just took this out. Yay! Alright. Okay. Now what do I want to do? 
do, I think. Do something kind of graphic. Make it look kind of like a gear. <laughs> so thank you for all the tips. Gosh, you guys are helping me so much with the, all this stuff. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Oh, look at this all wrinkling up. No, that's all right. Let's see, this doesn't look very clear yet, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll clear up. I'll have a picture at the end when it's dry. And if it doesn't, that's okay. It's kind of a grungy card. Rolodex well, card 70. March 11th. I'm going to add one more thing. I want to try this um, Blings from the Shimmer Paint Company. This was the freebie, and I wanted to put this on the road. I'm not sure how you use this. If you just put it on like this, I should go look. All right, so when this all dries, I will take a picture of it. Okay. There we go. All right, there's my Rolodex card number. It looks like a... Rolodex card number 70. Thanks for... Uh, kind of grungy, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.